From a trainer's point of view, he's an absolute pleasure. He, he thrives on his work. He's just a very, very honest horse and enjoys his daily routine. From our point of view, he's a pleasure to have anything to do with. I'll be forever indebted to him. He, um, he was obviously my first Royal Ascot winner, you know, was my first Group 1 horse. And then to come back and do what he's done this year from his injury is just, yeah, look, I'll be forever indebted to him. You know, Shaker Hissa, uh, literally three or four days after his injury and after his surgery, which had gone well, she said if his rehab goes well, then she, you know, very kindly said that she would send him back to us if everything went to plan. So that, that was great. You know, he came back to me oh, a good while, so we were able to just go very steady away and just build him up very gradually. And, and without tempting fate, touch wood, we've gone well, you know. And it's Hookham that's just in front. Westover is fighting back. They race up towards the line. Hookham and nose in front from Westover. And Hookham wins. Hookham wins the King George. You know, it looked as if it was going to be one of the strongest King Georges they'd been for a good few years. He's such a tough, honest horse that, you know, I thought we were going to have a real good shout. It was emotional. I was there with my wife and two kids and, you know, we were sort of leaping about all over the stand. And I just, yeah, I had a little moment where I just had to stop and, you know, it, it was quite overwhelming. So this would be my first runner in the arc. Again, I was fortunate enough to, to be involved with a few runners at St Michael's over the years and, and was with him when Workforce won. But it's, it's great to have a, have a runner myself. You know, the closer you get to, to the art weekend, yeah, the pressure increases. Everybody's feeling it a bit, you know, John, my head lad who rides him all the time. You know, you're getting to that stage now where if there is a little bit of a hiccup or a knock in the stable or a cut or something, you, you know, you are running out of time then to, to get things healed and mended. Um, so, yeah, it, it, it's going to be a stressful 10 days. I think any trainer would say to you that a, an arc would be the top of their list. You know, a King George was pretty high on my list so to have ticked that one off is massive but uh, probably not elegant enough to put into words quite how uh, how much it would mean not just to me but to the whole team.